It's the third anniversary for Ragnarok Mobile on Global, and there's plenty of rewards to celebrate the event. I'll go over that and also discuss whether this game is still worth playing three years later. This is Wobbly Wallaby, and today I'll be going over some of the three year anniversary event rewards, including where to find the requirements for the rewards and what to do with the refined vouchers. I'll also end off by talking about whether this game is still worth playing in 2022. First, for the events on Global, you can read all the details from their official post. The link will be in the description. This will give you an idea of what is coming up and some of the requirements to unlock things. This NPC in Pantera will give you a bunch of rewards. The costume looks great and the bonuses are quite good. You'll need to wait until you've gotten enough Royal Celebration Dreamy Chess from the event to unlock it. For the rest of the rewards, you'll need a lot of headwear or achievements in order to get them. The official post puts the requirements so you know how much you need. To unlock the plus 12 voucher, you need to have 240 headwear unlocked. Next, for 160 headwear unlocked, you'll get the Exquisite Repairing Shard which is really helpful for repairing headwear that is broken. Some of these other rewards require you to have a certain number of achievements, such as 240 achievements to unlock the Royal Chest Unlock album. In addition to those rewards for unlocking things, you also have to do these daily quests to kill Popo Porings each day to give you more chests and to give you the commemorative vouchers. This will give you great rewards like Fire Coins and S-Star Ruins. On the second day, You'll have open 3 chests, so you can get a plus 15 headwear voucher, which is fantastic. What should you use it on? I use this on the Epic Spirit Lightning, since this is an untradeable headwear that gets extra wind damage per refine. This headwear is great, even if you aren't a novice guardian, because it comes in handy when doing farming. Wind damage allows you to do double damage to water monsters, so it's very effective for farming if you're using wind-based spells or wind converters. For example, on some of the maps, there's a lot of water monsters, so being able to get a lot of extra wind damage is very useful. There's a lot of water monsters in this map Holy Ice Cave, which is good for some early farming. Then you can move on to the map Frost Domain, which has a lot of water monsters as well. Next, you can use them on the Komodo maps, which have a lot of water monsters and are currently some of the best maps in the game for farming. Alternatively, if you're looking for some defensive options, you can buy these from the guild vending machine. For example, Midgard's Bag, which gives damage reduction plus 1% and freeze resistance plus 2% per refined level. Or the MDef Fairy for 1% magic attack damage reduction and stun resistance by plus 2% per refined level. These are great because each refined level gives you more defensive buffs. Next, you can also use this headwear for ones that require plus 6 to unlock additional buffs, such as Abyss Cry, Dawn Flute, and Bashful Moments. You also might have gotten a 4th Enchant under untradeable headwear, which requires it to be plus 6 in order to activate. However, since you get an exquisite repair shard if you unlocked 160 headwear, you should attempt to refine it to plus 6 first, and if it breaks, then fix it with the exquisite shard, and then try again. If it's still broken, then you can consider using the plus 12 voucher, since it's quite expensive to repair normally. For my plus 12 voucher, I'm saving that one until it comes close to expiring, just in case there's any new gachas that come out that has benefits for each refined level. I'd like to take advantage of it. The last topic which I wanted to discuss is whether this game is worth playing 3 years later in 2022. Ragnarok Mobile is currently my favorite game because I really enjoy playing it. I've been playing this game for 3 years and I have 6 active accounts. The great thing about this game is it cuts out a lot of daily quests, which means if you just farm every day and then instantly complete certain tasks with the in-game meatballs, then you're not going to fall behind. I don't like games that have time-consuming dailies that makes it feel like chores. This is the reason why I can have 6 active accounts, because I just put them to farming each day and just instantly complete the quests. By not having to do time consuming quests, 
I can focus on weeklies. And although there are a lot of weeklies, if you spread them out throughout the week, they're actually not too bad. If you're in a guild, people can also carry you so you can complete these very quickly. As you get stronger, you can also start soloing some of these things or doing them in a small party so it also helps you get things done really quickly. Sometimes I'm super busy and don't have time to party with guildmates or coordinate parties, so I just complete them with my wife when I have some spare time and sometimes throw in my other accounts as well. Next, in terms of progression, it's been great seeing my accounts grow over the years from being too weak to be able to help people to now being strong enough to be able to help carry people if needed. Seeing this growth is definitely one of the things that keeps me motivated to play this game. Next, for each account, you can accelerate one character to the fourth job, so you can start enjoying a character right away and feel strong. Grinding from level 1 can be boring, so by accelerating your character, you also get a great idea of how this class behaves and whether this actually suits your playstyle. If you're not satisfied with your class, you can just create a new account and then play again with another class that might suit your style better. Next, I really enjoy trying out all the characters in this game, and I really like that they make it easy to do so. In general, you do need to pay to multi-class, unless you're multi-classing within the same branch or they happen to give out some class change vouchers. It's unfortunate that the devs didn't give people on global a job change voucher or some BCC for this 3 year anniversary event, because I think this is a great way to get people interested in the game again by trying out new classes on an existing account. Next, I like the direction of ancient equipment to help new players get stronger and faster and existing characters to catch up. This cuts out a lot of the zenny grinding to get here early on. This is especially useful for classes that are bad at farming, as they can now use ancient equipment instead of spending zenny to buy it. I'm looking forward to the upcoming ancient equipment so I can try out some new classes without investing in a lot of gear just to mess around with it. Next, the game has a lot of depth to it. Things like the damage formulas, skill combinations, equipment combinations, and character setups can be complicated, so it allows for a lot of analysis. I've really enjoyed learning how to optimize characters and farming, which has led me to meet a lot of great people in the community and also made a lot of new friends. Next, if you're into PvP, it'll be hard to catch up, since I find that's where free-to-play can be very frustrating, since it's very hard to compete. However, for PvE or boss hunting, you can still be competitive without spending a lot of money or any money at all. You just need to choose the classes that are most broken and exploit those advantages. This game is not very balanced, so you just need to learn which classes are the developer's favorites and use those. Next, on Global Endless Love, I've noticed a drop in players and I'm hoping that with episode 10, new players and returning players will increase the service population. I'm really looking forward to this year and what exciting things will come to Ragnarok Mobile. Why do you play Ragnarok Mobile? Let me know in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe.